Physical quantities are divided into two types of quantities, base quantities and derived quantities. Base quantities are those quantities that are the fundamental quantities from which other quantities can be derived. Derived quantities are actually derived from the base physical quantity. Base physical quantities are fundamental. They are not derived from any quantity. So for example, we have, we have total 7 base physical quantity and derived quantities are limitless because they are obtained from base quantity. And the base physical quantity we have example like mass, mass is a base quantity and uh, let's take length. These two are base physical quantity. Other base physical quantities are time, electric current, intensity of light, temperature, and amount of substance. And in derived quantities, they contain area, for example, and let's take a volume. Now in mass, we have unit, of mass, we have unit kilogram, and of length, we have unit meters and here an area let's look now at area area is a derived quantity how area is a derived quantity because we obtain the area by multiplying m by my multiplying length three times two times l multiply l is equals to area and volume is L multiply L multiply L. So this one L is a base quantity. It is multiplied by itself. So this becomes a derived quantity. So these quantities are derived by volume and area are derived from length. So that is why we call it derived quantity. Let's take another example for base quantities and physical quantity. Here we have for example time time here at unit second and it is represented by t and here we will take speed for the speed speed is equals to distance divided by time now the distance is here length the distance is a base physical quantity and the time is also a base physical quantity. So the speed is derived from dividing one base physical quantity over another base physical quantity. So that we call a derived quantity. So for that we will have its unit is equal to second divided by time. Sorry, meters divided by time. So it unit will become meters divided by second, sorry. Meter divided by second. So it unit will become meter per second. Now we will write meter per second. So this is a derived quantity and here we have length and time a base physical quantity. Now you look at base units. These are and this is an important concept here base units base units are the units that are used to express base physical quantity for example in mass mass is represented by as measured in kilogram time is measured in second and here base units and here we have derived units so derived units derived units for example we have as we have mentioned earlier s divided by t distance divided by time now distance divided by time distance unit is here we have distance unit as we have uh, meters 
in time unit we have second so meters divided by second equals to meter divided by second or meter per second this is derived unit of this derived physical quantity speed and this is the derived the base unit of time and mass so hope you guys have understand this topic briefly we'll see you in the next lecture click links on the description to learn more about base quantities and physical quantities